Just following on from the previous tutorial where we introduced ourselves to the session variable in PHP and we have this page count item going on here where we go to different pages and the page count goes up. You can look back at that tutorial uh, to see how the session variable works and how to get it working. But now in this tutorial, what I want to do is I want to use the session variable to bookmark certain items. So bookmarking is just one of the applications of the session variable. It's kind of the same as if people wanted to add things into a shopping basket or anything like that for the duration of the session or the visit that the particular user is having at the moment. So I'm going to use this uh, on this show members.php page. I've got different members of this particular library and for whatever reason, if the librarian wants to bookmark these members to revisit to, uh, to these members or revisit the bookmarks at a later stage that they want to do more work on them, that they're able to do that. So in this bookmark column, I've got all of the different bookmark images and what we want to be able to happen is that when we click on that bookmark, we've got a bookmark that is created and then the librarian can go to bookmarks and show bookmarks and see it. So looking at the code as it stands at the moment in this show members page, I've got a new column here. So this is the column where my bookmark image is. At the moment, I've just got that image there. So what I want to do is I want to get this so that when somebody clicks on this image, that the member ID of this particular member gets forwarded on to a bookmark adding process where the actual member ID gets added to an array in the session variable. So I'm going to add in this extra code here and step through it. This was the original image and we've surrounded that with an anchor tag. There's the end anchor tag and the start anchor tag. And within that anchor tag, we've just got our href attribute. Our href attribute is saying, I want to pass this item onto the bookmark member the bookmark member.php page. But as I'm passing it, I want to actually use the get method to add in the particular member ID of this member. And so I put in a question mark after the page name and put in member ID as a label, set it equal to whatever the member ID that is currently coming back from the database, from this select all from team members query. So putting that into action, if I save that, I go back to my page, press refresh. Now, when I hover over my bookmark icon, you'll see down there at the bottom right-hand corner, sorry, the bottom left-hand corner of the browser, we can see the little tooltips coming up with the member ID attached to each particular member. So each member that I hover over, it takes that member ID and lets it equal, in this case, to four. This member here is member ID equal to three. This member here, member ID is equal to two. So whichever bookmark I can, I go on to press is going to take that member ID of that particular member, add it onto the URL and send it over using the get method onto the bookmark member.php page. Now let's talk about the code for that bookmark members.php page. So I've already got the bare bones or skeleton of this page created already. And this is where the item is going to come in from the previous show members.php page. So I'm expecting in on the get method an item that is labeled as member ID. So first things first, I'm going to get that member ID item from the get array and assign it into a more easy to access variable in PHP. And again, I keep it consistent. Whatever the field is in my database, I usually tend to use that same name for all of my variables in my code. It just keeps it easy to remember. So I'm assigning that into dollar member underscore ID. Whatever member was passed from the previous page is now in that variable. Now I want to add that member ID onto the actual session array or the session variable in PHP. This is slightly different in the previous tutorial where we talked about just a page count where I've just got a running single count of all the pages that are visited within one session. In this case, I could have the situation where the librarian wants to bookmark many different members. And so I don't want to just kind of add them on to the actual session array one at a time. Other things might be added into the actual session array in between that. What we need to do is we need to actually create a whole separate array and insert that as a single item uh, on a single index 
in the session array. And so what I'm going to call that is I'm going to call that bookmarks array. And this is how I might add the member ID onto the bookmarks array. So member ID onto the session variable, but adding it to bookmarks only. And what we're doing here is we're using array push to actually push it into that array. And if that array hasn't been created already, what we need to do is create it. So I'm putting in this if statement here. We need to kind of check to see if bookmarks array has already been created. So I'm checking to see this item here in the actual session array or the session variable bookmarks. Is it set? Is it already there? If it is set, then all I need to do is just jump over that if branch and go straight to the array push. But if it is not set, that means that I need to create it. So I've put in my exclamation mark there as the bang operator to negate this is set. And so if this is not true, then I need to create my bookmarks array. And this is what I do. Create the array using the array function in PHP. Assign that into a variable called bookmarks r for bookmarks array. And then take dollar underscore session, the label bookmarks, and assign in that new array. So now in that case, if there was no previous existing array there, an array gets created and gets slotted in as one particular item under the associative label of bookmarks. So now I've got an array within an array, a multi-dimensional array. So anytime a member ID gets passed in, if the bookmarks array hasn't been already created, it gets created. And after that, it gets the member ID pushed on to that new array bookmarks. If the actual bookmarks array has already been created, it's already there. This if condition here will check that. And we'll just go straight down here and add the member ID onto bookmarks every time. Seeing how that works back on the website, for the moment, all that page does, it is a separate page where I just click on a particular member. The member ID gets passed through. Remember, I can see what's going down here in terms of on the left-hand corner of the browser screen. I can see that member ID equal to two has been passed here. So I've got a refresh added here on that add bookmark.php page that is a meta refresh that sends it back to the original page. And so not a whole lot is obvious that it happens, except just when it goes to that page, it just says that a bookmark has been added and then it returns to the actual show members page. Like so. How do we actually show these bookmarks so that eventually when the librarian wants to see all of the different members that they have bookmarked, that they'll be able to go to this show bookmarks.php page? Well, let's have a look at show bookmarks.php. So this is a show bookmarks.php and I'm not going to go into this in too much detail because it's really specific to the database that is uh, that is related to this uh, this website. But essentially the main thing is that we access this uh, this session variable again. And again anytime I want to do anything with any kind of session variable remember I'm always including this session.php require session.php up at the top of the page and again that was dealt with in the previous tutorial. And further down here, we get access to the session variable and we want to pick out the bookmarks array from that session variable. And then it is up to us in terms of what we want to do with it. In my case, in this website, what I'm doing is I want to rifle through that bookmarks array in the session variable with a for loop or a for each loop and go through each different member ID and use it as part of a uh, select statement from a database, picking out each individual member from the database um, that has been bookmarked and go through the whole process of echoing out the image for that member and echoing out their name. So essentially we get this result here. Uh, I go to bookmarks and show and I can see the different items or the different members that I've bookmarked. And if I go down here to show members again and bookmark a different member, bookmark that person, go back here to show, 
we can see that that member has been bookmarked as well. And on that show bookmarks.php page, again, they're going through the bookmarks array, picking out all of the different member IDs that have been added to the bookmarks array, and then going into the database and picking out the actual individual member details for that member ID. So that is using uh, the session variable or the session array in PHP to to instantiate a kind of a bookmark system. But it is the same if you think about it in terms of adding products to a basket either. So if you've got a shopping basket, you want the shopping basket to move around after the user as they browse through a particular product website. And as they decide that they are interested in a particular product, they can essentially bookmark the actual product or add the product to a basket, which is just an array in the session variable as well. And again, that variable, that session is going to last for the duration of the visit. So that's how to organize a, another aspect of the session variable, uh, which is bookmarks in this case, and hope you enjoyed it. More PHP tutorials coming. Subscribe, please, if you found it interesting. Thanks.